Hey everybody, Twin Diggers here, Pat and Pam. Yeah! We are on an awesome permission. We are wrapping up today. We've been here two days, and as you can tell, it's starting to rain again. We've been in and out of rainstorms, and we're not doing a follow-up of all of our finds because it's raining again. Uh, but what we have done is taken still pictures of everything, and we'll post them on our Twin Diggers Facebook page. But as far as where we're at, we are at an 1870 farm site. It is an 11 room farm home. And we're not going to disclose the location or show pictures of the farm uh, just for the privacy of the family. Um, but what we're gonna do is just show you some of the uh, building sites. Now this is the first farm that Pam and I have been on where not only the original farmhouse is standing but the one outbuilding is left. There's three collapse, but a beautiful adventure. And so let's just take you along and kind of show you what we've been watching for two days. All right, I'll follow you, sis. All righty. Unfortunately, this barn here just didn't make it. So this one is a collapsed barn. And uh, again, the owner said, if we find anything in the barns or on the area of the property that we want, we were welcome to take it. And that was really nice too. Mm -hmm. um, so we also just did scouting for the owners and metal detected to see if we could find pieces of history to give back to their family. Although uh, we didn't find a lot of personal items, there was a, quite a few shotgun shells as expected a lot of iron mm -hmm. and um, so moreover it was just we spent a lot of time swinging and just enjoying being out here where we are um, so let's swing around to this beautiful barn that is still standing and there was a ladder inside and Pam tried to climb up it and there was some hay up in the rafters yet mm -hmm. uh, this definitely held horses. This was not a dairy farm. Uh, all of the acreage around here was tilled uh, for planting, but they did have horses, and uh, the inside of this is beautiful. Yeah, I'm gonna pop inside and show you. Yeah, we'll show you a little bit. We don't wanna get too far in it, but we're being real careful of the structure. Mm -hmm. um, and you can hear the raindrops as we walk again. <laughs> it's been like this for two solid days and uh, we're pretty wore out a uh, lot of digging and a lot of walking on this property all right so I'm just gonna go in here sis and just do a high shot of the yeah. stalls and pretty amazing okay then like through up there, up to the roof. That's really cool. Yeah. You look up that way. Yeah. Let me. You know. Rafters, well, I'm afraid if I hold the phone up, I'm gonna yeah, don't get full of rain. Yeah. Sorry, that's I cool. Okay. Neat. All right. So the path that we're walking on is a road uh, that was used back in the day. Uh, we have a lot of hills behind us. Pam, yeah. you can get a nice shot of the silo from here. Oh yeah, I forgot about so that. So we um, we climbed and climbed and climbed, but it was uh, it was a lot of hard work. Um, the silo is in excellent condition. So we uh, we said to ourselves when we saw that, how could they make it so sy symmetrical? And so yeah, that is amazing. Cool. All right, well, and the, here's another another building. And this one is unique because it is, it looks like it's sandstone, isn't it, Pat? I would think it's sandstone. I'm not quite sure. Um, but you can see there was definitely an addition put on the front with the concrete blocks. Right. But the brick is just gorgeous. And I love all the old windows, how they blocked them in mm -hmm. with wood and all the small windows, even on the larger barn. And unfortunately, this has had collapsed also, and uh, a tree fell on it. And yeah, I think a tree, a big tree, took the other barn out too. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. 
the brick on that isn't those that sandstone. All that is of the amazing hard work these farmers did back in the day. Yeah. It just amazes me. And all of the iron we found again, like the other farms, old heavy iron. Got some beautiful pictures of some old farm equipment that will also be loaded on our Facebook page. Yeah, out in the woods. That was quite a find. I'm just going to walk in here, just okay. show how deep okay. and these walls were on this on this barn, this yeah. particular one. Let's get a picture of this other side. And then yeah, I'll go over there. Yeah, yeah. and you know, like a, there's a lot of trees, lots of trees that have eroded, huge, huge trees that have come down, which is kind of sad. Yeah, and the really... Uh, and this is just looking down this, this uh, road to get to the other barns. The other thing that we weren't anticipating is there are a lot of black walnut trees on this property. Yeah. So that was really cool too. And a lot of uh, big thorn bushes. Oh my gosh. And actually some thorn trees we were running into and... I think in the south they call them briars, they don't they? They had to be. They were... And a lot of barbed wire. Oh. A lot of barbed wire. The barbed wire. wire here was just absolutely incredible. Isn't this just sad? This would have been a huge, huge two-story barn. And uh, I don't want to get too close hey, on the edge there, the, but... The side on this side of the oh yeah, I'll come over here. Just walk over here. Yeah, the brick on this side was... And let's show that claw that we found oh, too, yeah. Pat. This is cool. Well, we didn't... well let, let me just get... Let's this do was... this first. We didn't find it, it was surface. Right. Isn't that neat? And the size of these timbers. Look at what the uh, how yeah, they're the cut. Yep. Yeah. Isn't that just amazing? This must have been one heavy, heavy barn. And this again, those here. big walls. Okay, let me get over here. Oh now, yeah. When Pam seen this, she thought it was thought of Edward scissors, scissors hand. hand. Yeah. Look at these sharp points on this baby. Yeah, we took some pictures of that too, and it actually says the iron claw. Yeah, the number right here, Iron Claw, 2046 two, on there. Isn't that cool? That was neat. Wow, neat. there's so much. And again, we have so much that we're going to be posting pictures of on our Facebook page for Twin Diggers Minnesota. So please, please check that out. That yeah, would be was, awesome. It was a little, little different video for us normally than we do just because of the weather that we had. And that's again, there's that long driveway as we're walking yeah. up. We're not going to show the farmhouse. Um, so Pat's going to stand over here. So we don't have that. The farmhouse is coming up and yeah. uh, we're, we're not doing that. So, but uh, ac excellent opportunity, two long days of searching and finding and just hiking up in all these woods and all these cliffs, seeing what was out there and I don't know, it was pretty awesome, huh, sis? Yeah, it was. It so. was. And again, we were dealing with a lot of rain. There's uh, just because, again, with spring in Minnesota, we've got a lot of storms rolling through now. It's been crazy. And uh, so, you know, the last two days have been challenging, but you know what? It's been good. This was really, really exciting for us. And we got to spend time together, sis. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Uh -huh. Yay! And um, thanks for not snoring this trip. I really appreciate it. No, that's okay. You're welcome. I think you were so tired. You just... I was. <laughs> I just, when we got to the hotel last night, oh man, I was just... Yeah, we were beat. I... But thank you for watching. Like yeah. I said, we'll post all the pictures on our Twin Diggers Facebook. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's do a wrap up and, and head out. Sounds good. All right. Take care. Thank you. Check out our photos. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.